Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hi. I'm great. You're doing great today. How is your kid going? How is your baby? Um, mejor. Better, you say. Better. It's, he is better. It's a he or a she? She. Ah, so she is better. She is better. That's good. Thank God. Hello, Luis Eduardo. Hello, Carlita. Mr. Marlon. Mario. Martita. Letty. Lucy. Linda. Hello, Rosalba. Nelson. Hello. Welcome to another day, Hello, another teacher. class. <clears throat> this has been a, this has been a very busy day for everybody. <laughs> Many of you have been working on the platform today, like ah, <laughs> doing everything. I told you on Monday, remember? I told you on Monday. Le dije lunes, se acuerdan? Ah, el martes lo hago, el miércoles lo hago, <laughs> y el jueves. Ah. <laughs> so eh, we're going to check a little bit. On, on the things that we have been doing on the platform. Many of you were asking questions about how, how it works and everything. I remember that I show it to you. Yo recuerdo que se las mostré el día que, la, que iniciamos, pero siempre es bueno como volver a recordarle. Something very important about the platform. We need to read the instructions. You need to read the instructions. That's the problem. In many of the cases, we don't read the instructions and it is uh, necessary for you to understand. Okay, so before we start, before we start, we are going to work a little bit on a little warm up, okay? I think that you have things around. Like, yo creo que tienen cosas ahí a su alrededor. Let's look for something, le voy a decir algo y un color y vamos a buscarle algún objeto que tenga ese color y me lo muestran en cámara, ¿ok? Let's look for something. Let's see, let's look for something black. Show me something black. Good, the cell phone is the way. Hey, a bottle, good. Excellent. Show me something pink. My cell phone is pink. Something pink. Very nice. Aha. Show me. Hey, a teddy bear. <laughs> what a cool thing. Show me something. <clears throat> let's see. Something light blue. Something light blue. Hey. Something light blue. This is light blue, right? This is light blue. Good, 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 good. <laughs> hey, for the mosquitoes. <laughs> A ready lady, that's fantastic. Show me something, let me see, something red, something red. Ah, ah, I do have something red here. Ta-da, something red. <laughs> <laughs> I have something red. I have a kid, so you understand. Yeah, this is my first job and this is my second one. <laughs> Okay, show me something, let's see, something green. I have something green right here. And because I have the back, the background, I cannot, well, but it's here, it's green, <laughs> something green. Show me something that you love. Show me something that you love. Mm -hmm. And don't show me the cell phone, okay? <laughs> Show me something that you love. <laughs> Your pet. <laughs> ah, a cat. Oh, nice. Hey, a T-Rex. That's cool. <laughs> that's fantastic. Good. Ah, your daughter. Oh, that's so beautiful. Thank you. Show me, show me something purple. Something purple. Something purple. Ah, I have something purple right here. Something purple, very good. Show me something white. Right. White. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Excellent, the charger. The charger is always a winner. Very nice. Show me something, let's see, orange. Something orange. orange. Something orange. 
I have a frame here. The frame is orange. Something orange. Very nice. And the last one. Show me something gray. Something gray. gray. This is gray, right? Something gray. Very nice. It was a very short review about the colors and I can see that you identify them. That's very nice. A very controversial color. Show me something fuchsia. Something fuchsia. This is fuchsia. Fuchsia. And it is controversial because in El Salvador they say fuchsia. And it's not fuchsia. <laughs> they say like, esa camisa, fuchsia. No, it's fuchsia. Fuchsia, that's the name of the color in English. And for sure, as it comes from English, it is fuchsia. If not, it's rosado intenso, right? It's not fuchsia. So that's the tip of the day. When you go through life, don't say fuchsia otra vez. Say fuchsia, because that's the name of the color. Well, my dear students, very good job. Remember, we're going to move a little bit on the platform and we're going to show a, a little bit of the advancement and how to understand the advancements on the platform. For example, here, here I have, for example, here, Sorry for the commercials at the back. <laughs> I don't know if you listen. Here, these are the sections. <clears throat> okay, cuando hablamos de secciones en la plataforma, son estas cinco que le aparecen al principio. Cada sección tiene diferentes tareas. Y esas son las que van contando para que su barra vaya subiendo. Okay? It's very important to read the instructions. Hay que leer las instrucciones siempre. ¿Por qué? Porque a veces ahí está el, eh, la razón por qué no salen mal. So, for the first week, para la primera semana, era la sección 1 con todos sus ejercicios y la sección 2 con todos sus ejercicios. Por si no la habían terminado, pues ahorita hacemos un catch up de todo. ¿Cuáles son los ejercicios que cuentan en la barra de tareas? Todos los de la plataforma, todos estos que son alrededor de 10, siempre 10, 11. Pero... Los más importantes, o sea, todos son importantes, pero los top de importance, así como vemos como un top important, really important, very important, important, and I need to do it, right? Are the ones with a pencil. Los que tienen el lapicito son sus tareas, sus evaluaciones. Esas son las que van marcando su progreso, ¿ok? Y obviamente al realizar las tareas, al realizar sus tareas, aquí cuando le da usted submit, va creciendo su barra de progreso. ¿Ok? A esto se le llama una sección completa. Todos estos ejercicios, tanto el video como los objectives. Pero los que cuentan para que su barra suba son las evaluacioncitas que tienen este lápiz. Por ejemplo, aquí. Do you remember the answers that you wrote? ¿Se acuerdan qué pusieron aquí? Hello, what's your name? Hi. 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 My, right? So Hi. you say, my name is Antonio. It is important that in this case, we have my, right? What is her name? It's a lady. Her name is? Her name is Nicole, very good. And what is his name? It's a man. So you say his name is Michael. And in this one, you click on submit and all the checks, todos los chiquecitos que le vaya dando la plataforma son los que van a ir marcando su progreso en, obviamente, en las tareas. For the next one, spelling names. In this one, you have five conversations, right? You have to do the listening. And it says, listen to the five conversations and check for the correct spelling. We did this one yesterday in class. Este lo hicimos ayer en clase, lo recuerdan. So, what was the correct spelling of the first one? John with H or John without H? John with H. John with H, with H right? Conversation two, Sara or Sarah with H? What do you Sarah. remember? Sara. Sara in the normal form. What about this one? Do you remember your answer? Recuerda que pusieron PH, right? Stephen. What about this one? Catherine. Catherine. This one? 
And the last one, do you remember the answer? Chris with K or Chris K. with C? With Chris. K. Let's see if you did the correct job. Aha, this was Catherine. And this one is John without H, right? So there you go. If you make a mistake, you can answer here. Hey, what? Ah, perdón, no borre la otra. <laughs> you need to keep only one, right? And in this one, I didn't uh, write this one. Okay, sorry. So these are the mistakes that can happen in the platform, okay? Dejar esos errorcitos así que se nos van de que, ah, sí, esta, pero no borre la otra. So this is the advancement that you are going to show in the bar. So here you go to the next evaluation for sure. You watch the videos and everything. And here we have, uh, here we are going to complete the spaces. And it says, excuse me, are you a Steven Carson? And it says like, no, I am not. Yeah. My name is Steven, it's a man, he is right yes. for the question in the question you have to start with the verb to be at the beginning and you say are you Arch. and in this one you say like hi i am okay are you steven carson is it like hi i think it's i am in this I case am. and it says i am nicole johnson steven and you say it is nice it is nice to meet you Right, it is nice to meet you. And here you have the answer completed. Siempre, si terminan el ejercicio y les quedó alguna mala, siempre pueden volver y repetir el ejercicio. Eso no hay ningún problema. Si, por ejemplo, usted ha dejado su barra con el avance en 60%, hay que regresar y corregir. ¿Para qué? Para que ustedes dejen su barra siempre al 100%. No es así de que, ah, sí que se quede en 50. No, la idea es que usted también comprende el ejercicio, comprende la respuesta y obviamente logre el porcentaje requerido. ¿Ok? No problem so far. Hasta el momento, problemas. No. So in this one we have the last exercise of the level. And in this one we have the list of phone numbers. Many of you had difficulties with the numbers and we were using only numbers from 1 to 10. So it is important because here you have options. Aquí tenían las opciones de ponerlo, ya sea con paréntesis, sin paréntesis, el número seguido, el número separado. Hay muchas opciones, right? But we are going to listen first. We are going to check, and then we are going to write the correct number. Okay? Yo creo que muchos de ustedes lo anotaron en su cuaderno y lo han de recordar por ahí. But let's listen to it. Listen and complete the list. What's David Medina's phone number, Michael? It's 212-555-1937. 212-555-1937? Yes, that's it. Okay, you have the first one, right? Okay, Sarah Connor. What's her phone number? Hmm, Sarah. Her number is 347-555-7645. 347-555-7645. That's right. Now let's see. Stephen Carson. His phone number is 201-555-3648. Right? Yes, that's right. 201-555-3648. Something important. In this case, he says, oh, when you are giving the phone numbers, you don't say zero. You say, oh, right? For mathematics, you use zero. But for phone numbers, you use O. Oh. Right? This is something curious. It's something important that you need to remember, right? Sorry, my chair was down. So in this case, you say zero. No, you say, oh, that's the important thing. And let's remember that one. Let's continue with the next number. And Nicole Johnson's number? Oh, Nicole is my roommate. 
Our number is 646-555-3806. So Nicole's phone number is 646-555-3806. And your number is 646-555-3806. It's the same number. Right. So she says they are roommates. They are roommates, so they live in the same house. And for sure, the number is going to be the same. Some of you were like, I don't have the number for Jennifer Miller. And it's the same number for uh, <clears throat> Nicole because they live in the same house. So the answer is the same. And the last one, we have Michael Oda. Hey. What's your phone number, Michael? It's 718-555-9960. Okay, great. And there you go. There you have. It is important in this case of the listenings. I need you to have the exercise open. Siempre que hagan un listening, tengan el ejercicio abierto y vayan tratando de contestar en el momento. Porque, ¿qué pasa? Si de repente yo pongo el listening... Y después quiero contestar, es bien complicado. Entonces, es, eso es un tip que les regalo, que siempre vayan como contestando eh, al momento. Si lo tienen que oír dos, tres, cuatro, cinco veces, no hay problema. ¿Ok? Así que si cometimos algún errorcito en esta parte, eh, es importante que podamos regresar y corregir. ¿Ok? So, that is section one, as you can see. That was section one and it is done. In this case, we go here, you click on next and you go to the next section of the platform, right? The next section of the platform is the unit that we're going to start soon, okay? This is the unit that we're going to cover. Here, you have a, about what is this, what is that, right? This and that is for plurals. We are going to check that in the next classes. And it says, what are these? It's plural, they are keys, right? And here you have the number, Two, for example, what is what is number two? What is picture CD number player. two? It's a CD player, right? Picture number three. What are pictures? They are backpacks. And in this case, as it is plural, right? We're going to check this later on. As it is plural, um, we have it with what are these, right? Because oh, it's these. <clears throat> because it's plural. These is for plurals, and this with I, it's for singulars, right? right? What's this? Number four. Watch. watch. So watch, right? Similar to the verb, watch. You watch the watch, right? Number four, it's like, what's this? It's a watch, right? Number five. Cell phone. It is? Cell phone. Ah, uh -huh. so in this one, you have to say, what is this? It is a cell phone, right? What is this? To complete the sentence. And aquí tenían ya los ejemplos antes. Entonces tenemos que ser como un poco más eh, cuidadosos de siempre irnos fijando de los ejemplos. And what are these? The last one, they are? Sunglasses. sunglasses. They are some. <clears throat> it says they are. They are sunglasses. Okay, they are sunglasses. ¿Por qué? Porque es plural. Okay, because you have two. And that's it, right? That was your first exercise for number two. And here as well, you have four evaluations. Aquí igual tenían cuatro evaluaciones que cubrir. In the second one, let's see who remembers. The second one. Who can help me with the second one? It says, uh, sorry. Is this your umbrella? Right, I will give you the first example. Is this your umbrella? No, it is not, okay? Number two, R. if it is plural, R. Number three, it says you are looking for a place, right? You don't know where they are. And where? And for this question, you use where. Where are my glasses? They are on the table. We are going to check that soon. Is this my pen? And it's just like, no, no it's, it's not. not, it's mine, right? No, it's not, it's mine. Give it to me, you say. No, it's not, it's mine. 
And that was the exercise. So for you to correct, if you have the chance to correct, do it for you to get for sure a 100% on your first and second section. Okay. And the next one, exercise number three, that it's this one. Oh, it's the one that I was doing. And here, in this case, it says, look at the photos and write the correct answer on the spaces. <clears throat> and it says the books are, what are the books? In the, in the, the books are in the book bag, if I'm not mistaken. The boys are, the book, the boys, <laughs> the books are in the book bag. I don't know if it is like this or like this. I will check it later on. No sé cómo lo escribieron aquí. Okay, the books are in the book bag. The DVD player is a la par. You say next, next to, to, to the, the DVD player is next to, to the, the television. television. Okay, it's next to the television. No necesita que le pongan el punto porque ya lo tiene la plataforma. Okay, si le ponen el punto, va a ser un error. The map is under, under, under the newspaper, right? The map is under the newspaper. The chair is behind, behind, behind the right? The chair is behind, behind, the behind the desk. And the wallet is on, on, on the purse. On the purse. The wallet is on the purse. And the cell phone is in front of. In front of, right? The cell phone is in front of address book. the address book. The address book. Okay. In front of the address book. And we're going to check on the answers. And there you go. I think it's like this the book back. <laughs> I think it is, or the backpack. I don't really know. Well, it's submitting. Let's see. No, I will see how it is written. Creo que la plataforma lo escribió diferente. Quizás es backpack. Sure. Yes? Eh, la última. The ah, the phone. period. Yes. <laughs> ya vi cuál era mi error. Era el punto. Le había puesto un punto. Ya ven? Eso nos puede pasar a todos. The cell phone. The cell phone is in front of the address, double D, double S, the address book. Okay. In front of the address book. Y aquí mi error había sido que le había puesto punto. Okay. A book back. Ya ven, y eso puede ser un error que nos puede marcar en la plataforma. Así que me sale mala, me sale mala, pero mire. So that's the problem. Because it was just my period. Mi corazón gramatical le había puesto punto in the book bag. So this is the exercise, right? This is the exercise here. And the last one that we have, the last exercise, it is about a conversation, right? It's about a conversation about uh, Kate and she's looking for her things. Do you remember where are her earrings? In the purse. They are in the purse. Do you remember where is Kate's watch? It's in front of the television. Where are Kate's sunglasses? On the chair. chair. On the chair. And where is her address book? The on, the table. Table. On, the on, table. on the table. On the table or under the table? Under the table. Under the table. Vamos a ver si se acordaron bien. There you go. Yes. So these are the exercises. Y estas dos secciones son las que ustedes tendrían que haber terminado ya. Okay. So this is the, uh, the first two sections. Exactly like this, you click on next, you are going to start section three. Esta ya la pueden ir trabajando. Algunos quizás hasta ya las terminaron, pero igual la pueden ir trabajando para que ustedes vayan teniendo el avance de espacio, ordenado, sin andar ahí afligidos el último día de la otra semana. Okay, <laughs> so you have to finish section three and the midterm exams. Los midterm exams son eh, como kind of reviews of the two units, the previous two units, okay? 
this one as well has four, no, this has three exercises, right? So you can check it out and complete it, okay? So that is the way you work on the platform, right? Así la podemos ir trabajando y se le va a ser mucho más fácil si la van avanzando rápido, si la terminan. So there is no problem. So that's the checkup on the platform that we have for today. Any questions? Questions, my dear students? No? Por el momento, hasta la sección 3 tendríamos que llegar. At sections 1 and 2 for today. <clears throat> sections 1 and 2 for today, but if you want to continue, no problem. Okay? La plataforma no tiene como límite de cuánto pueden ir avanzando. Si ustedes siguen ahora, terminaron la 2 y dicen, quiero ver qué más hay y quiero seguir, no problem. Okay? El avance sugerido, siempre como les comentaba el primer día, es secciones 1 y 2, 3 y los exámenes eh, para la siguiente semana, de ahí 4 y la 5. Y al final de la, de la jornada, en la cuarta semana, sería ya el final de las 5 y los exámenes finales. Ok, so that's the way. That's the way we are going to work on this. So let me just share my screen. I am going to share my screen with you. And for sure, I am going to call the attendance. Le puede pasar lista esta noche para que ya quedemos listos con esa parte. Uy, ¿a dónde estoy viendo tan fuerte? Okay, let me just open my, my list. And remember when I say your name, say here or present, okay? Let's start. Okay, okay. Here we go. Let's start with uh, Jennifer Tatiana. Thank you. Thank you. Jorge Alberto. Present. Thank you. Jose Alexander Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Josue Mejia Martinez. Thank you. Juan Antonio Chavez Chavez. Present. Thank you. Juan Diego Mejia Rico. Okay. Carla Lisset Martinez Navarro. Present. Carla Nicole Hueso Quinteros. Carlita Nicole. Okay, let's continue. Carla Stephanie Rivera. Present. Catherine Judith Portillo. Present. Catherine Paola Rodriguez. Catherine Paola. Let's see. No, there is no Catherine Paola today. Katia Dalila. Katia Dalila. Okay, Leticia Aide. Present. Thank you. Linda Beatriz. Present. Lucia Fernanda. Present. Luis Eduardo Méndez. Manuel Alfredo. Present. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, okay, let me see. Okay, Luis, Manuel Alfredo. María Elena Galdames. Present. María Teresa Murillo. Present. María Guadalupe Martínez. Present. Thank you. Mario Antonio Delgado. Present. Thank you. Marlon José Mendoza. Mr. Marlon. Present. Thank you very much. Let's continue with Marta Jacqueline. Present. Thank you. Miguel Leonidas. Mr. Miguel. Hoy todos se me fueron a vagar, ya lo vi. Nelson Rodimiro. Sí, sí. Noemi Abigail. Noemi Abigail Sánchez. Noemi. 
Norma Guadalupe Castro. Normita. No. Patricia Maricela Morales. Aquí estoy, Sam. Este, teacher. Okay. Norma. Rodrigo Antonio. Ah, Norma. Thank you. Norma Guadalupe, thank you. Eh, Patricia. Pati, pati, pati. Pati is the one that it's not here. Okay. Eh, Rodrigo Antonio. We don't have Rodrigo today. And Rosalba. Present. Thank you very much. ¿Quién entró uh, después de que mencionara su nombrecito? Let me see. Eh, Carla Nicole. No, right. Let me see. Juan Diego. Either. Eh, Catherine Paola. Manuel. And let me see. Juan Diego. No. Okay. So, in any case, remember to announce it because I am always checking on your attendance. Thank you very much, my dear students. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, we're going to work a little bit on uh, the topic for the day, right? Yesterday, we were talking about the alphabet, the spelling. We were talking about the different uses of the alphabet, right? We, we had a dictation that was very curious for everybody. Ayer tuvimos un dictado y todos estuvimos eh, en el dictado emocionados acerca del aprendizaje nuevo. Okay, and we were doing a conversation about who? Do you remember the names of the people in the conversation? ¿Se acuerdan quiénes eran los de la conversación? David, Jennifer y me recuerdo el otro. Ajá. Steven, right? David, Jennifer Steven. and Exacto. Steven, right? We had the conversation from yesterday. David, Jennifer and Steven. And for this one, we were using the verb to be. This is a very common topic, but in some cases we make mistakes with the use of is and are, right? We have to remember that is, it's for singulars and are is for plurals. Is is only for he, she, and it. Con he, she, it, usamos is. Y con todos los demás usamos are. La única diferencia es que con I usamos am. I am, right? So this is the form of the verb, of the verb to be. Here we have a couple of examples. Can you help me to read the first example? What is the first I'm example Jennifer that Miller. we have? I'm Jennifer Miller. I'm Jennifer Miller. The next one? During my class. During, During my, class. my class. He is in our class. He is in our class. The next one? He is over there. He is over there. The next one? It's my math book. And the last one. Can you help me, everybody? It's Miller. It's Miller. My last name is Miller. To make a question, you put the verb to be at the beginning of the sentence, right? Are you a Stephen Carson? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Si ponemos solo el verbo to be al principio, vamos a tener una respuesta nada más de yes or no. Are you happy? Yes or no. Are you my student? Yes or no. Am I the teacher? Yes or no. But if you add a WH question, si ya le ponemos una pregunta de WH a la pregunta, se vuelve en una pregunta informativa. So you say like, how are you? You need to give extra information. I am fine. Where are you? In my house. When is the class? At eight. How are you today? Very good, right? When is your birthday? When, cuando? Ah, it's on September, right? So if you add a WH form at the beginning of the sentence, then you transform it into an informative question. The contractions, am, um, your, his, she's, it's. It's not cheese, okay? Cheese es queso. She is, es no contractado. If she's, it's the contracted form, right? Am, um, practice with me, 
am, am your, am your is, 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 it's. 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 What is the difference? She's. 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 She's the one that you put in the frijoles, right? Cheese. 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 Okay. Cheese. And this Cheese. one is cheese. Cheese. She's my friend. She's my classmate. She's my, She's my teacher. <clears throat> if you have a problem pronouncing the contractions, use it in the normal form. I am, you are, she is, he is. Right? Si creen que se les va a trabar la lengua, se les va a oír diferente, use it normal. There is no way that you say like, you have to use contractions. No. It is good. But if you cannot do it, do it in the normal form, right? It is understandable and it is correct, right? And in most of the cases, siempre para documentos formales, correos y todos, siempre es recomendado usar las formas normales, no usar contracciones. Es una norma de etiqueta para formalidad. So keep it there in your mind. Remember, this is the verb to be as I am showing it to you, right? In the affirmative, negative and interrogative forms, right? It is not really complicated, right? You say, I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, and they are, okay? In this case, if you are going to make it negative, you just put not, I am not, right? And you have a negative form in all of them. For the questions, you don't add not because you are not uh, you are not going to make a negative question. It's not possible. Later on in life, más adelante se van a dar cuenta que hay algunas palabras, eh, algunas preguntas que sí llevan not, pero es para corroborar información. It was like, um, I was not in class, wasn't it? For example, y ahí tenemos una pregunta negativa, pero Solo estamos confirmando. Imagínense que le digo. I am not in your class. Am I? Esta es una pregunta que se llaman tag questions. Y aquí si sí usamos un negativo en una pregunta. Si algún día la ve y me dice. Teacher Nati dijo que no hay preguntas negativas. In this case. I am not making a negative question. I am confirming information. It's like, I am not in, in your class. Am I? No estoy en su clase o sí. Right? That is the form of the question. But this is another cinco dólares, right? Esos son otros cinco dólares por los que nos vamos a preocupar un poquito más adelante, pero ya los conocemos. Ya sabemos de esto. Cuando lo vean allá por el preintermedio dos, van a decir, ah, these are the questions that I, that teacher Nati told me. <laughs> right? So here you have them. For the questions in the verb to be, you put the verb at the beginning, right? The verb, that is the one that you use in the normal forms. I am, for the question, am I? Are you, is he, is she, is it, are we, are you, and are they? So these are the form of questions that we use in the verb to be. And we're going to make some examples here. In this case, it says, so if we have this conversation, aquí tenemos esta conversación. Si te digo, hello, Jennifer, how are you, right? How are you? Because you, are, you have you here, right? How are you? And it says, she is or I am fine, thanks. I am fine, thanks. I am, I am fine, fine, thanks. Right, I am fine, thanks. And it says, I'm sorry or it's sorry? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's your name again? He's David or it's David? He's, he's David. David. It's David. ¿Por qué ocupamos no. it y no, ¿por qué ocupamos it y no ocupamos he? Porque lo está diciendo propiamente de él y no lo está diciendo de otra persona. Ah, okay, it's very close, very close to the answer. But you are talking about the name. The name in this case is an object, right? So what's your name again? Yes. It's David, right? Because you are talking about the name. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Ah, it's David. Okay, porque estás hablando del nombre. It's David. The next one. Here you have the next one. 
Uh, no. That's right, David. This Sarah Connor. This is or this am Sarah Connor. This is. is. This is Sarah Connor. ¿Y cómo? ¿Por qué ocupamos is here? Because it's a third person. Exactly like that. Because it's a third person. You are talking about Sarah. Está hablando de ella, right? This is Sarah Connor. She is or he is? She, she, she is. She is because Sarah is a lady, right? Sarah Connor. If not, if it is a man, hi, how are you? <laughs> Okay. Well, here, here in El Salvador, we have Marias and they are men. Right? We never know. Tenemos Luca y son mujeres. And so we, we, we never know, right? But Sara Conner is a lady. Right? Hi, Sara. The next one, it says. It's nice to meet you. It, it's, it's, nice nice to meet you. Meet you. it's nice to meet you, right? So, hi, Sara. It's nice to meet you. Hi, David. I think. Uh-huh. I think you are in my English class. Okay. Creo que you're, 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 you're. Volví. Gracias a ti por esta conexión a internet tan linda. Thank you very much. All right. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Right? Yes, I am. And it says like, I think you are in my English class. Yes, I am, right? Yes, I am. Because you are talking about you, right? Yes, I am. Excellent. So let's do it in a better form. From one to nine, I need you to write the answers on your notebook, okay? Write the answers on your notebook. I need you to read the sentences and write from one to nine, Solo la respuesta, ¿ok? You can say, am, um, is, are. ¿Ok? From one to nine. Go ahead. Write the answers on your notebook. Okay, sorry, I made it too big. There you go. I thought. Ready. Okay. Good. Good. Done. Number one, what is the answer? Please. Yeah. She Sarah is, is, right? Sarah is. Sarah is my best friend. Very good. Sarah Number two. R. 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 Very good. Number three. Is. 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 Number four. R. 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 We are. Very good. Number five. R. R. We are. <laughs> Number six. Is. 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 Number seven. R. R. Number eight is is, is 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 and the last one is, 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 is it is a copy book. Okay, some sentences have a problem, and I need you to tell me what the problem is. Some sentences have a mistake. Hay algunas de ellas que tienen un error. Díganme cuál es el error. Seven. Uh huh. Seven. Number seven. Why? Please, Abraham and I am brother. So you say Abraham and I. Abraham and I. Give me your opinion. Uh, we are. Ah, I can say we are, but it says like Abraham and I, it's two people. If you have a plural form, you say are. That's correct. But that's not the problem. Hay otras mm. que tienen un error. ¿Cuál es el error? It's very basic. 
Uh -huh. Analyze it. Ese es cuando el novio le dice, ajá, yo sé lo que hiciste, vos bien sabes, decime qué hiciste. Y you are like, ah, I don't remember. Something very simple. The capital. Ajá, uh -huh. but in this case, remember that all the sentences that are starting a conversation, they have to be with capital letter. La mayúscula al inicio de la oración. Eso es un error bien común que no lo escribimos. This one, for example, this one, other. We, right? We are good students. And this one, he, right here. He is a nice person. The capital letter at the beginning of the sentence is very important. As the period at the end. Very good. Huh, it's like, huh, now you know. So let's continue working with the practice. And this one is going to be on you. I am going to choose eight people in the class. Vamos a escoger a nueve personas de la clase. Let's see. Pay attention because I am going to give you a number. Carla Stephanie. Okay, Jose, Jose Alexander is number one. Ay, ya, ya me bajo la mano. Carla Stephanie, number one. Marlon, Men Marlon Mendoza, number two. Lucia, number three. Okay, Rosa Alba, number four. Hey, no me levanten la mano. Que le voy, voy a dar un número. Le voy a dar un número a todos. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Rosa Alba, number four. María Guadalupe, number five. Juan Antonio, number six. Eduardo, number seven. Luis Eduardo, number seven. María Teresa, number eight. Carla Lisette, number nine. Josué Mejía, number one. Mario Antonio, number two. Jennifer Tatiana, number three. Jorge Alberto, number four. José Alexander, number five. Leticia Aide, number six. Marta Hernández, number seven. Nelson, number eight. María Elena, number nine. Linda, number one, and Catherine, number two. Go ahead. Teacher. Yes? Eh, hay dos número cinco. Yes, yes. I gave you different numbers. A todos les di, para que todos tengan oración. Okay. Ya van a ver lo que vamos a hacer. <laughs> so I have two, number five, three, number three, two, three, number two. Write your sentence. Ahí tienen las oraciones. Creen la que le tocó. Did you finish? Yes? Yes. 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 <clears throat> Good. All the number ones. Are you ready? Todos los yes. números uno. Todos los números uno. Okay. Yes. Open the microphone, the number ones. One, two, and three. I am not, I am a, not student. a student. I am not a student. Very good. All the number twos. Ready? All the number twos. One, two, three. She, she's he's my, my brother. brother. Very good. He's number my brother. Threes. Todos los números tres. Number threes. The girls are beautiful. One, two, three. One, two, three. The girls are beautiful. Number fours. Number fours. One, two, three. Number fours. Lara is in the classroom. Lara is in the classroom. Only Jorge Alberto salió aquí al rescate del grupo. Number five. My father yeah. is happy. My father is happy. Very good. Number six. My mother is a housewife. My mother is a housewife. My mother is a housewife. 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 Ama de casa. Number seven. She isn't my cousin. She is not my cousin. She is not my cousin. Number eight. Adam is intelligent. Adam is intelligent. Number nine. The cat is friendly. Very good. Number three. 
Ah, se me durmieron los nombres. The, no, no. Ah, the girls are beautiful. Number the girls are beautiful. Oh. Number ones. Clara is in the classroom. Number ones. Los número uno. I am not a student. Ah, I am not a student. I am not a student. Ah, yo, 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 a mí me tocaba, me tocaba. <laughs> Number six. My mother is a housewife. My mother is a housewife. Very good. Number two. He's my brother. Very good. Number seven. Seven. She isn't my cousin. Seven. seven. She's not my cousin. Okay, good. Very good. That's for you to be on the spot. Para que estén buzos en la jugada. That's good. And the next one. In this one, we are going to do a, a little exercise, but in this one, we don't have the answers. We need to complete it. And it says, excuse me, are you a Steven Carson? No. I am no. not. No, I am, I am not. Am. My name. My name is, is David, David Medina. Medina. Very yeah. good. Right? No, I am not. Ooh, what a big letter. Okay, let me just make it smaller. No, I am not. My name is David Medina. Steven is, is over there. Is not He's over, over there. there. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Are you? Are you? Are you, are you Steven Carson? Yes, yes, I, yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am. Yes, I am. Hi. Yes, I am Nicole. In this case, you say I am Nicole I Johnson. Oh, Johnson. Oh, oh, you're, you're, you are in, in my math class, right? Yes, I. Yes, I, I, am. Am. I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. Yes, it is nice to meet you. It is nice to meet you. It, yes. it is nice to meet you, yes. or it, yes. right? So there you go. Very good job on the sentences, my dear students. Very nice. So here I have another small example, and this is going to be on you. On this one, yes, I need two volunteers. Aquí sí, levanten la mano. I need two volunteers. Thank you, Jose. And thank you. Another volunteer, only Jose. Finger Gratic. Thank you, Juan Antonio. Very good. Le, le vi en el rostro que quería participar. Okay, Jose and Juan. Let's do conversation number one. Okay. Hi, what's your name? My name is Carla. And what's your name? My name is Alex. Okay. My name is Juan in that case, right? But it's, it's good. Very good. Yeah. Thank you, my volunteers. Yes. My other volunteers, Carla, Stephanie, and Maria Guadalupe, thank you very much. Yeah, este sistema de voluntarios me encanta. <laughs> Let's do it. Number but, two. Go ahead. What's but, your name? But, my name is Maria. And what's your last name? My last name is Martinez. Very good. Okay. Let's see, my other two volunteers for conversation one. Thank you, Nelson Rodimiro and Marlon Mendoza. Very good. Hi, what's your name? My, my name is Nelson. And what's your name? La pregunta. Sí, what's your name? Sí, okay, and what's your name? My name is Marlon. Very good job. And my last two volunteers for conversation two, Jorge Alberto and Linda Beatriz. There you go. <laughs> my volunteers, conversation two. What's your name? <laughs> my name is Linda and what's your name? My name is Jorge Alberto, very good job. Yeah, I love the volunteers, right? Lo veo, lo veo con ganas de, oh, teacher, yo. And that's good. Excellent. I have another conversation. So you say like, yeah, me salvé. No. Here we have the next one. We have other two conversations. Here we have conversation one and conversation 
two, okay? Here we are going to have, let me see my dear class. We are going to have Jose, Jose Alexander and Maria Teresa. Conversation one. Hello, Mr. Jones. Hey, Maria Teresa. Hello, Miss. Hello. <laughs> Miss Jones. Yes. She's Murillo Dominguez. Hello, Miss. Ah. Es que yo estoy en el teléfono, no puedo ver el nombre. Ah, ok. Hello, Miss. <laughs> eh, you can say Miss Murillo. Go ahead. Ok. Hello, Miss Hello, Murillo. Miss, Miss, Mr. Ok. Let's see. <laughs> no, bro, de aquí también. María Teresa, ¿estás casada <laughs> o soltera? Soltera. Ok, Miss. Hello, Miss nice. Trujillo, dígale. Ajá. Vamos a ver. Hello, José. Miss Trujillo. No, no, no. José comienza. No, no. Uh, yo le digo Miss Trujillo. Yes. Ok, okay. sería de nuevo. No, Murillo, okay. Murillo. Hello, Murillo. Trujillo. Murillo. Murillo. Ya le estoy cambiando el apellido. Okay. Hello, Miss okay. Murillo. Hello, Miss Murillo. Hello. I say good hey. afternoon. Good afternoon. Good, good afternoon. Jose. Afternoon, Jose. Alex. Ajá, eso. Sigue. Sigue. Es una how, pregunta. How are you? How are you? How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. Very good job. Very good job. Yeah, thank you. Sorry for changing your name. Jennifer, Tatiana, and Catherine Portillo. Conversation two. Conversation two, go ahead. Uh, hi, how are you, Mr. Mrs. or Miss? Mr. Mrs. Uh, Portillo. Portillo. Hi, I'm just. I'm just. Fine. I'm just fine, thank. How, How about, about you? You? How, How about, about you, Miss? How about you, <laughs> Miss Gutierrez? Miss ah. Gutierrez. Miss Gutierrez. How about you, Miss Gutierrez? <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Then. Not bad. Thanks. Okay. In this conversation, this is a little different from the other ones. It's like, hi, how are you? ¿Cómo estás? It's like, I'm just fine. Estoy bien. I'm just excellent. I'm just fantastic. Right? I'm just perfect. Right? Hey, how about you? And it says like, how about you, Mrs. Smith, Mrs. Smith, right? Mr. Smith, if it is a man, and he said, not bad, normal, not bad, thanks, right? So that's the form of question here. And the last one that we have for the night, and this is going to be for everybody. Help me, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How? how are you? How are you? How are you? Fine. How are, how are you? you? Thank you. Fine, thank you. Thank you. Okay, say, how are you? Fine. Pero la última pregunta. Uh -huh. Fine. Very you? good. Excellent. Fine. Eso es lo que me gusta. Que no solo se dejan ir. Hay que leer. It's a question. It's like, hello, good evening. Thank you. How Fine. are you? you? Fine. And you? Fine. And you? Very good. Fine. And the last Fine. one, it says, okay. Thank Thank you. Fine. And you? And the last one, it says, my name is Fine. Pam Walker. My name is Pam Walker. I'm Jay Williams. I'm Jay Williams. Jay Williams. Hello, Emily. Hello, How, Emily. Are you? How are you? How are you? Nice. Fine. Fine. Thank you. Fine. Thank you. Fine. Thank you. Fine. Thanks. Fine. Thanks. Fine. Thanks. Fine. Thanks. How do you spell your last name? R-O-G-R-S-R-S. Excellent job. It says like R 
O G E R S, G -E -R -S. right? G -E -R -S. That is the class for tonight, my dear students. Well, we are going to stop right here and we are going to continue on Monday. Remember that tomorrow is your day off. You have vacation, okay? See you on Monday, my dear students, for your next class. Have a beautiful night. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very you. much. Bye-bye. Have a beautiful weekend. Bye-bye. Yes.